Yeah, I played uh, played in the Chick Fil A. Um, I was average, uh, mm -hmm. not very good. Uh, played at the Lutzy the other day, and uh, so I've been playing a little bit. But uh, looking forward to today. It's a great day, and uh, looking forward to playing with John Daly. Uh, speaking of John Daly, anything in your wardrobe that resembles something he might wear? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, you know, he, he's his own guy, and uh, that's kind of that's kind of his uh, his thing to do. You gonna try to out drive him? Uh, I think he hits from the tees behind us, so hopefully I'll be in the vicinity. But uh, you know, he, he hits as good as anybody. How about any scouting on Arkansas? Yeah, uh, he's a big Arkansas fan. I know that. And, uh, we're about the same age and we kind of grew up uh, in the same era over there in Arkansas, so I'm looking forward to playing with him. What's your go-to club? Oh, gosh. Uh, I used to hit a driver pretty good. I can't anymore, so uh, you know, I, I don't know if I have one. You know, maybe a wedge if I get close enough. Gus, it's like playing in front of these folks. I mean, I, I know some of us have done this before, and you're standing up on that first tee. Your knees shake a bit. You know, probably the first year it was a little bit uh, overwhelming, a little bit. You kind of get used to it. Uh, you know, my expectations out here aren't real high. You know, and I got enough stress in my life to get mad at playing golf. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get, get too wrapped up in it anymore. Justin, Kyle Davis enrolled in class. Uh, Kyle Davis will uh, be at our team meeting tonight when we got our guys coming back, and he'll be back ready to go. Is he on any probationary status? No, or anything? he's ready to go. What are your thoughts on the, on the second signing period? Some coaches love it, some people don't. Yeah, I, I, I like the way it was. I just think it complicates things a little bit more. You know, I always think about the high school football coach you know, deep in the playoffs and trying to win a state championship and just uh, the stress that goes with uh, trying to sign their guys and everything that goes with it. But uh, you know, we'll adapt and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Sean, Sean progressing? Uh, good. You know, uh, your mechanic, you know, all he did is 7-7 seven and seven one-on-one. -on -one. In the spring, and Chip did a really good job with him. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he tells you some Gus, can you provide details on the charity that Jamie's going to be heading? Well, it, it's the Malzahn Family Foundation uh, that he is, and uh, just looking, man, Chris, just looking to do some things to, to give back. Why, why now? Well, we've had it for about six months, and uh, just we really wanted since this time of year in the off season to get a strategy together, just to do the best we can. Coach Pat, I mentioned uh, Auburn moving to the to the SEC East. I know you've mentioned that in the past. Is that still something that you're you're in favor of? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you look at the the map. I mean, obviously, it makes sense. There's a lot more to it than just just the map and, and all that. But uh, you know, that's his opinion. He's been around a long time, and uh, you know, but there's a lot more to it. Coach, why are playing in tournaments like these important to you? Well, I just like you know, there's a lot of Auburn fans in Birmingham, and I like getting out and around and. Uh, Getting to play with uh, you know some of the professionals is always neat, and this is a big deal. They do a super job. Uh, the region people do a super job with this event, and I've got a chance of playing quite a few of them. And this is as good as it gets. You, you mentioned you obviously played at the Lutzi the other day. Um, Jalen in the spring talked a little bit about that bond that him and Chip have mm -hmm. sharing Lutzi. What, what's it mean to have all three of you guys at Auburn? Yeah, you know, it, it, I was thinking the other day. You know, uh, you know, Philip was the first player that actually recruited when I was the coordinator at, at Auburn. And Chip Lindsey was his head coach, and that's how we got to know each other. And then, of course, Jalen, you know, was uh, uh, played for uh, for uh, Lutz, you know, uh, in high school. And so, there's a there's a bond there, and uh, you know that we all three share. And what Mike is doing, Lutz and Kirk, and with this message, I mean, he's, he's what, like 220 schools. He's yeah, it's unbelievable what Mike's doing. I'm, I'm very proud of him, and he's got a great message. He's going around the country. Uh, you know, just giving uh, uh, a real positive message to help people uh, with decision making and just doing a super job. Greg Sankey's mentioned that the graduate transfer rule could be looked at at spring <clears throat> meetings. Is there mm -hmm. any way you'd like to see that rule go or keep the same? Well, I think uh, Commissioner is right on target. It's more and more, it's getting to be, um, you know, uh, more popular every year. So it definitely needs to be looked at. And, uh, but a lot of schools are, are doing it, in, in, including us. You know, we've got a couple this year, and we've got a couple that left. And I think it's going to be more and more popular. So I think he's right on target to, to look at that and, and see what's best for the future.